So uh, I did some playing around a bit. I saw like a YouTube video where someone had a uh, had a FSR file replaced with DLSS. So I get the performance thing up here. And of course, uh, we did that. We replaced the FSR DLSS file with FSR, right? Um, which we didn't do through the way they wanted us to do it. We did it through uh, my own way to pack it into this version. And I think we're actually pulling... This is 1440p here, and we're pulling with FSR2 to give the second to show the frames. There is input delay, and my computer does not like it. And I also found out that... Uh, this does not like running on anything other than Turing Generation, which is just GTX 1660 series. Uh, so I couldn't run this on my Pascal GTX 1080. But we still, you know, got it here. Um, I don't know why I can't get these FPS channels shot. 13 FPS, 21. See, we're pulling 20. We were getting 5 to 4, even 1 FPS at this resolution when we were testing it without FSR. So we're getting... I mean, it's not too playable, but we're playing at 1440p, so we're going to drop the resolution a bit. No, that's a bit fucked. Why is there a slider for DirectX ray tracing? I might have to turn down my uh, resolution in the menu. Because it's not uh, working well. And I don't think I have any noise suppression on here. You can see the fans on this thing were ramping up. So, um... I'm gonna just... Is there a way I can just turn down the resolution in... There's no... Is there any way at all? Let's turn off that. Yeah. Probably work. We're just, uh... This is 1440p. Um... I'll just like, you know, fuck it. Uh, I'm gonna change my monitor scale to 1080p. It might just crash the recording. Oh fuck! Wrong resolution. 1080p. Right now we're at 20 1080p. Let's just scale that up real quick. No. All right. Let's uh, put this back on full screen. Still looks better than when I was using FSR on the thing. Like the original one. And how much are we pulling now? Solid. It's actually the frame times have actually dropped a bit. It's a little bit more playable. Um, these blocks were supposed to have like spec, like PBR, but for some reason they're not rendering. It's because these packs are made for 1.16 plus, and I basically... I uh, just edited it to work on an older on an older version, which you know half the texture names it support, and that uh, probably different PBR texturing system. So we're getting a lot of weird artifacts here, which isn't the GPU; it's the texture pack playing up. You see, at the both the other two times we tested this, there was like weird visual bugs. I mean, we're getting playable FPS here. I mean. I might even go a step further and drop it down to 720p and see how playable that is. Yeah, the only reason this actually works is because the uh, 1660 Super is, I think it's on the GD108 die, which is part of Turing, same generation as 20 series. Oh, I want to actually uh, prove that this is being ray traced right now. So I don't know how. Uh, yeah, look at the glass in here. So you, if I look down, you can hang on. I don't know how to. Actually, I can just show it there. You see how the water is refracting there? That's not. Look, see the light reflections there. If I look down, they don't disappear. So that's just proof this working. It's really badly rendered though. Like I might try and turn the chunks up. I'm actually looking at the utilization here. So we're getting 20% CPU usage, 30% memory, 94% GPU. Um, we could be using a lot more memory for this, I feel. I don't know what's happened here. Like this is all... 
I changed the FOV up a bit to 90, the what I have it in Java. Alright. Oh, screen shake. These are all bugged out. Uh, if I turn this off, like the sky goes black. No, it's not doing it. Oh, we're getting more FPS. Alright. I wonder what I can actually explore running this. Um, actually, you can't see it right now. I don't know why it's not showing up in the overlay here, but we're getting 19 FPS. I'm going to do a re-upload after this and do an actual benchmark, but we're just testing this out real quick. We're pulling 20 FPS. This is 1080p with FSR enabled. This is FSR 2.1. Um, didn't have to repeat that. I don't know why I did. It actually looks pretty cool. It's a bit weird having the blurred effect because it's 1080p and the ghosting, but... Oh, it actually looks kind of nice, to be honest. I'm going to play around with a few things. I just want to see what it looks like when the sunset's going down in this game. Does the time change at all? It, I remember it did before. I don't think the sky is actually working correctly. That may be a problem. I did turn this off. There we go. Okay, you gotta leave beautiful skies on. Oh, what's happening there? Hang on. Okay, that's better. Oh, that's actually, that looks pretty nice. 21 FPS. Oh. I mean, if this Turing GPU this can run this, and my 1080 has higher, you know, processing power for DXR, I mean, if they enable this and add FSR, like, native support, like, and optimize it, like, um, GTX GPUs can run it, and they, they can probably support the consoles to the, not last gen consoles, but uh, our current gen consoles, because they have articles in them, right? Oh, that's... Oh, we're getting real bad frame times right now. The frame time graph went all the way up. We're using about 64% of our VRAM just for this. Some nice reflections. You know, notice if I move my hands, you see this, like, ghosting there? I don't know if you can see. Um, that's pretty good. Oh, that is weird. Oh, I think I know what's happening. This, uh... Seagrass here is also bugged. Because of the lighting thing. Uh, hang on. Uh, yeah, it's the middle light. This is a texture pack bug. It's pretty cool. Does that work? Oh, that does work. Yeah, just so we know, we're, we're uh, getting 20 FPS the whole time in this. This is the same. We get the same FPS at 1440p. Um, I just felt like I could drop it down to 1080p to ease the load over a little bit, but there seems to be no real reason. It's if I turn upscaling off though, my game crashes. Pretty cool. I wonder if I can try and get like a mirror block or something. And see how far my computer can handle reflections. I don't think there's anything for a mirror in here. Does iron work? Not really. It's really like the... Frame timing's really bad, and there's no one's introduced asynchronous reprojection or anything in here, or NVIDIA Reflex, it's just... Very, uh, you know... Buggy. I mean, that... I had one in the other video, and it just showed, like, the hand reflecting. It's pretty cool. Alright, well, I'm gonna wrap up this video, because... I did my showcase. Oh, and... Just, just to show, um... While it does, uh, in here, say 2080, that's just because, for some reason, the game, when you change it in the registry, likes it. I think this is actual 2080 because we're on Turing. Uh, but you see, we got 6 gigabytes of memory here. It's a 1660 Super or whatever. Um, hang on. Oh, fuck, what was it called? I'll bring up my GeForce experience real quick so I can just show you. There we go. I'm definitely swapping the Pascal as well. Oh, uh, and Cyberpunk Path Tracing works as well. It was pretty, 
pretty bad. In fact, it was like 16 FPS at like 1080p uh, FSR Ultra performance. Well, I'm going to wrap that video up, so...